Attacking from the air is pointless. The anti-air defenses are much too thick. I'm afraid of them. Doesn't that count? What are our other options? I think a surface attack is our only real shot at taking the jammer down. Leave that to me. Perfect. We'll arrange transportation for you. You've got to move fast. The fleets are going to be dropping out of hyperspace any second now. The longer we take... <clears throat> The longer we take, the more we lose. You don't sound good, Theron. Shouldn't you be in a Colto tank instead of planning missions? Probably, but there's no time. I need to finish slicing the last of these Nova Blade files. They have data on every ship with Revenite infiltrators aboard. As soon as the jamming clears, we'll have to broadcast everything we've got to convince the fleets to cease fire and lock up the Revenites and their crews. One last thing since Lana stepped out. Watch your back. I'm starting to think my little visit to the Revenites might have been her idea. You think she's working for the Revenites? No, but I don't think she's putting all her cards on the table either. Just stay alert, all right? I won't let my guard down. Good. Enough conspiracy talk. Get out there and take that jammer down. If you can read me, but I've arrived. We read you. The jammer's in sight. I'll do what I can to guide you through, but that signal jammer might cause some hiccups.
good as new. Okay, you're in. There's a force field between you and that jammer. You'll have to gather a set of security codes to pass through. Signal's going to start breaking up soon. Talk to you when you get that jammer shut down.
The galaxy needs us! Good as new.
Hostile engagement initiated. Shouldn't take long. Ramming Electromatrix. Republic fleet, come in. Do you read me? Flagship Douglas here, patching you through to the command deck. This is Satil Sean. Do we have you to thank for shutting down that jammer? That and a whole lot more. There are traitors hiding on every ship in your fleet. The Imperial ships, too. They're manipulating the battle from both sides. I'm transmitting the traitors' names now. They're part of a cult. The Order of Revan. Revan? But he was killed. Apparently it didn't take. All ships cease fire. Open a channel to the Imperial Commander. I've been listening. As ruses go, this is quite creative. It's the truth. Round up the people from Theron's list and see for yourself. And if you're correct, what do you propose? A meeting. Face to face on neutral ground. There's a town on the surface, Raiders Cove. We'll send coordinates for the meeting spot. Very well. I hope you know what you're doing.
Would anyone like some refreshments? We have several fine beverages available. No, thank you. I'm fine. All right. Off to a good start. Master Satil, thank you for coming. Of course. The Revanite ships have all been scattered, captured, or destroyed. Their accomplices aboard our vessels are in chains. You found a threat and given us the means to root it out. Separately, what do we have to discuss? Revan is still alive, my lord, and his plans don't stop here. The Emperor is not dead. Revan thinks he can fix that, but he's wrong, isn't he? No one person, not even Revan can truly destroy the Emperor. I struck the Emperor down myself. I saw him die. You destroyed his body, even wounded his spirit perhaps more than anyone before you. But that was not enough. The Emperor's current state is nebulous, incorporeal. To strike at him, Revan will first have to return him to a physical form. Which is exactly what the Emperor wants. He will destroy Revan, then move on to the rest of us. In time, he will consume all life in the galaxy. You knew that was his goal and still followed him? I only learned of his true plans recently. And I am no more interested in being fuel for his insanity than you are. We have to stop this. Intercept Revan before he can restore the Emperor's form. The Emperor's hideaway is a secret, even to the Dark Council. The fourth moon of Yavin. That's where we'll find Revan. He wanted me to join him there. Never said I couldn't bring a few friends. According to our data, he still has extensive forces at his disposal. We would stand a better chance of overcoming them together. No matter what evidence I present, I doubt the Supreme Chancellor will agree to any kind of alliance or truce. Neither will the Dark Council, but my ships and the soldiers aboard them are loyal to me. I can convince my troops to maintain a truce. They've seen Revan's threat firsthand. Then we meet on Yavin 4. Agreed. Theron. We can talk on the way to Yavin. I have some business to finish here. Thank you for your help. All of you. This can't have been easy. The conspiracy is finally exposed. We've been hiding our actions from our allies for so long, it's a relief to have everything in the open. So we can talk about how you threw me to the wolves now? I made a calculated strategic decision, and it worked, as we can all see now. And if you had talked to me about it, I would have volunteered, but you didn't even give me a choice. We couldn't risk the Revanites knowing that your capture was a ploy. You had to be in the dark for the plan to work. Theron had a right to know the danger he was going into, Lana. You should never have hidden the truth from him. Or the rest of us. The ends have clearly justified the means. Personal feelings are irrelevant next to that. I think it's time we moved on. Yavin is a long way from here. Agreed. Let's get moving. Lana, stay a moment. We should talk. Of course. Enjoy your trip to Yavin! This is quite a mess I've made, isn't it? The wicked Sith can't be trusted. Just the sentiment we need right now. It wasn't the right call. But you did it for the mission, not yourself. That's gotta count for something. I suppose. The moments we've shared, the connection between us, it's very important to me. I would never want to lose your trust. My strength flows from the passions I embrace. My service to the Empire. And you. You're very important to me, Lana. Our time together has meant a lot. But that won't matter in the long run, will it? This truce won't last forever. Even if we succeed, the war won't end. There's no future for us. I'm not ready to give up, are you? Mm. Not yet. But time is not our ally. We should hurry along. There.